What's PB poppin' battlers? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to completely dominate your Sinister Cup with Polyrath. So let's get into it. Welcome back again guys, and before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, I just want to point out that um, I did actually sweep my Sinister Cup. I'm so happy. I won 5-0 in my first local tournament. Uh, waited as well, so that was awesome. And if you want to see how I did that, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will be uploading it as soon as I'm done with this one. I'm going to edit that one and try to get it up as soon as possible. But this is the important video because I'm going to talk about how to sweep your whole tournament with Polyrath. And I have a theory, and uh, the theory is this. If you have a decent team, just focus on mastering two of your six Pokemon. If you can do that, like really master it, like learn the really subtle nuances of those Pokemon, you can easily win your tournament. And for this tournament, I chose to master Metacham and Polyrath. So you can see some of my older videos for the Metacham analysis and strategies and all that stuff. And this one will be about Polyrath. But I do think if you can master just two of your Pokemon, Three would be even better, but if you just master two of them out of your six, I think you can win your tournament. So let's talk about Polyrath and see how we can use that to uh, sweep our Sinister Cups. So Polyrath, it is a water and fighting type. And in terms of charge moves, it has a pretty diverse move pool. Now, for me, I don't like Power Up Punch because I want to use Polyrath as a finisher Pokemon. So I'm going to be opting for Dynamic Punch and Hydro Pump to get those finisher knockout blows uh, to just totally devastate your opponent and that's what we're going to focus on today is using Polyrath as a finisher. So the main strategy is basically burn your opponent's shield as soon as possible and then bring in Polyrath for the sweep. You can hit, you can knock out almost everything with water or hydro pump and dynamic punch does a ton of damage to Polyrath in a mirror match. It does a decent amount of damage to Metacham, not a whole lot because it resists fighting but it does a ton of damage to uh, Steelix and other Steel types. And so, just in general, it's a Pokemon you want to use to finish opponents, not bait opponents. I'm using Marowak and other Pokemon for baiting, and so there's no point in having two Pokemon doing the same bait, especially because Power Up Punch, if you get caught with the bait, you're kind of screwed because Power Up Punch does no damage. And so there's really, I don't see much of an advantage if you already have, for example, Metacham with or Mawile with Power Up Punch. I really don't see a need to have a Polyrath with, with, uh, with Power Up Punch, sorry. So so let's go into our first battle to see how we can actually use Polyrath to sweep opponents. So let's just go to the first battle right here. And the thing I want you to note with this first um, best of three, you'll notice that I'm not using Polyrath in my first lineup. That's because I wanna kind of use a different lineup to see if I can win with it and then if I can, I think it's more likely your opponent won't expect you to bring Polyrath in the second match because you already had success with your first lineup. So in this first lineup I lead with Driftblim, he leads with Mawile. I switch into Marowak which is a really good counter for Mawile. In a head to head with two shields, Mawile can actually beat Marowak but it needs to burn both shields to do that and so I actually don't care about that. I like Marowak as a, a lead against Mawile. So he switches into Cresselia which is the one I'm most concerned about in his team of six as you can see on the right side of your screen there. Um, but I do try to go, I try to bait the shield there, he doesn't fall for it, but he wouldn't have anyways because his health was low. So I go for the Shadow Ball here, and so now I have to bring Driftblim or Metacham. I think both of them aren't too bad to go against a Mawile. Um, I think Metacham's better because it's neutral to dark instead of weak to it. And so encounter, a powered up counters can do pretty good damage to it. So I try to farm up some energy, and here, remember what, I, what I've been talked about in my last videos, you always go Psychic against anything pretty much if you can. If you're trying to finish the match, don't go for power up punch unless you're trying to bait a shield. Um, but yeah, so I go for my sidekicks here. He's gonna knock me out with Ominous Wind. I'm gonna come back in with Drift Plume. And I think I got a buff there, I just know, I don't know, I can't remember, but. So yeah, we finish him off pretty easily there. We got a buff at the end for good measure. So there you go. Now, second match, we're going to have Polyrath as our finisher. We have Marowak as our lead, which is a very, very strong lead. And then we have Steelix to kind of absorb some damage from anything that we might be weak to. So let's just see what happens. We got Marowak versus Mawile again, so I like this matchup. This is a matchup you want to have because Mawile is weak to fire and ground. 
So just do fire spins and bone clubs and just whittle it down. And if it decides to shield, even better because you got Polyrath waiting in the back just just knock people out. And so that's what you want to happen. So he he shields there, I think. No. Well, I'm going to do another bone club here. He burns his second shield. We have two shields and a Polyrath in the back. So at this point, I'm already thinking it's game over. So let's just see what happens. We got Steelix. And this was the dumbest thing I could have done. I'm actually going to pause it there. Okay, so this was the dumbest thing I could have ever done. It didn't really matter because we won this match, but do not shield against a Mawile if you have Steelix, okay? Please, I didn't know at the time, I didn't have much experience with Mawile, so I wasn't really thinking, but Steelix is resistant to three of the four charge moves that Mawile has. It's resistant to normal, steel, fairy, and it's weak to fighting, but power-up punch doesn't do anything anyway, so don't shield against a Mawile. Never, never, never shield, okay? My Wild won't have enough power-up punches stored in energy to even do any damage. So, yeah, that's the big, big, big lesson from this particular match. It has nothing to do with Polyrath, but who cares? You need to learn this, okay? Don't shield against a Steel or against a My Wild if you have a Steelix. So I'm gonna resume the video here. And so I burn a shield, but it's okay because he has no shields and I have a Polyrath, so it's pretty, pretty much a wrap at this point. So I just go for crunches here because it's super effective against the Drift Blim, and. I'm not going to shield. I'm saving my shield for Polyrath just in case. Um, but yeah, so we go with another crunch here. He swaps out. And so Cresselia, again, pretty scary Pokemon, especially because I'm weak to that, but that's why I saved a shield. So you got to try to save at least one shield for Polyrath. I like to do that as a finisher, just in case you do go against a Psychic type. You need to have some protection. But then again, I use it. <laughs> for some reason, I used it against this, but I think it's because... Um, I, I could use the dark attacks to, to knock this one out, so I figured it was it was in this case better to save my shield for Steelix, but burning that first shield against my wild was stupid. Uh, but anyways, there's nothing he can do at this point. Even a Shadow Ball won't knock us out because we're at full health, but he goes with Ominous Wind, and so at this point I can just whittle him down with bubbles. So we take game two, and let's go into game three. So we leave with Marowak. We got a Metacham this time, but we also got Polyrath as the finisher, so let's see what happens. Okay, shout out to Puppy Hairline, by the way, he's a local PvP battler that I play against in local tournaments. Very, very skilled player. You'll see some more from him, I'm sure, in future videos. But anyways, same lead, I love this lead. I'm just gonna go for the knockout punch this time, just in case he doesn't shield. And that worked out, he didn't shield that time, so that was even better. So now we have Polyrath. I'm actually gonna shield here because I have energy stored up and I wanna go for a Shadow Ball because it does a lot of damage to Polyrath. So let's see what happens. He shields. So then I swap out to kind of save him as a sacrificial shield. And here I decide not to shield because I'm not sure what it has. Dynamic Punch does a decent amount of damage, not a whole lot though. So now I'm going in for the kill. So I go Psychic. Let's see if he shields. He directly, correctly shields. And then here, I'm going to save my shield for Polyrath, I believe. So I take the Ice Punch, and I actually have enough energy, so I just throw a Power-Up Punch just to do anything. A little bit more damage, and it actually did okay. So now we come in with Polyrath, and I decide to shield here. I, I really don't. I really didn't need to do that, but I want to save as much energy as I can, um, just in case he gets a Shadow Ball off. So here we go. Hydro Pump. Let's get it. Bam! So we take game three with a finisher knockout blow, and that's why I like Hydro Pump for Polyrath. It's just such a good finisher move. Does so much damage. So there you go. That was the first uh, game of three, and let's just get into the next battle. All right, so our next opponent is Ace Leader Sky, a very, very talented trainer. He actually finished ranked 40th in the world last season, and right before the Mirror Cup, he was ranked 15. So a very, very strong player. Uh, very, very excited and honored to practice against him because he definitely helps me get better. So shout out to him. Um, do the same lineup, same lead as we did against the last opponent because I don't want to reveal that I love my Polyrath quite yet. So I'm, you know, leading with a team that doesn't have him in there. And so this is a pretty good lead matchup so far. Um, I like Drift Blim because I can spam Marowak with uh, Ominous Winds. And if we get lucky with the power up uh, buff, then it just it makes winning so much easier so that's why i like this particular matchup uh, so we take out his marowak there and now i decide to i was trying to switch but it wasn't working so i just decided to use a shadow ball he shields 
and then I switch into Marowak. And this is a pretty good matchup because I have Fire Spin, so, but then he switches out. But Slowbro is weak to Ghost, so I'm gonna go in for the kill here. He decides not to shield, so that was very awesome. And then at this point, I don't care what happens, so I don't shield. And then I come in with Metacham just to farm up some energy because I know he's not gonna get to another charge move. Confusion is very slow. And then, so now I'm in, I'm in an ideal scenario here. Metacham versus Steelix. There's not much he can do at this point. Even if he shields, doesn't shield, doesn't matter. My counters are going to whittle him down. And then I do a very nice swap uh, here to absorb the Earthquake. So that was timed perfectly. I was very excited about that. I pulled that off because <laughs> that's not easy to do. And I often fail to do that. Uh, so I get... In, in fact, his Earthquake is double resisted by Drifblim. So it, it didn't even KO me. And then we got the buff. So it was just... Yeah, everything kind of worked in our favor there, but we played well and we won that matchup, so that was awesome. Okay, so round two, I'm bringing in Polyrath as the closer, and we have Marowak as the lead. And so I really like this lineup uh, for this strategy, um, and as you'll see here in this video. So one of the very, very good positives about using the charge moves Dynamic Punch and Hydro Pump for Polyrath is because your opponents aren't going to be expecting that. They're going to be expecting you to try to bait with a power-up punch. And so if you hit them with a Hydro Pump, it's just going to completely flip the match in your favor. And you're going to see that happen here in this match. So we have Marowak against Bastidon. Very, very good matchup. Um, we just can whittle it down with Fire Spins and Bone Clubs. So that's what we're going to do. And at this point, he's low enough. So I don't... And I have Metacham already, so I don't really care about protecting this Marowak. I think he did its job. I'm gonna bring in uh, Metacham, but he does a very, very nice swap, but then I swap into Polyrath, and here is where you see the power and why I call Polyrath, Polyrath the Punisher, because if you catch your opponents off guard, it's just, they're not gonna see what, hit, what hits them. So here we go, we have a Hydro Pump. He's probably expecting me to bait him with Power Up Punch, which if it was the case, there'd be no point in shielding. So he kinda, you know, made that move and ended up backfiring. So we knock out his Marowak with the Hydro Pump, and now he brings in a um, Polyrath, so I'm gonna go for Dynamic Punches, which, look how much damage, it does a ton of damage to Polyrath, so that's why I like it in the Mirror Match. It's a very, very good move to have. He does Power Up Punch, which does almost no damage. So you can see if you're Polyrath versus Polyrath and you have a better move set, uh, you're pretty much gonna win every time. So there's not much he can do here. I decided to switch because I want to burn his shields. I notice he still has two shields, so I'm going to go ahead and start throwing Psychics at him. He has no choice but to shield here, um, but he didn't have much health, so it didn't actually end up working out for him. So then he comes back with Bastiodon, and then we finish it with uh, Power Up Punch. So you can see Polyrath did its job just punishing the opponents and couldn't have asked for a better outcome. So we actually take the best of three. That was my first time uh, beating an Ace Trainer ever, so I was super, super stoked on that. And we have a pretty similar... Uh, matchup. I like to use this lineup and the other lineup for the most part to win my matches and lead with Marowak. Polyrath is in, the, is in the back as a finisher and then either Metacham or Steelix in the middle. Uh, but anyways, I make some mistakes here. We, we You'll see what kind of mistakes I make. So he, he gives me the switch advantage, right? So I'm in a very good spot. I go in for the kill here with Shadow Ball. <clears throat> and he shields, so... Objective one, burn his shields. We're doing really well so far. I decided not to go for the bait, and I was right. So I'm in a really, really good spot. I have switch advantage. I didn't fall for his bait. Um, I decide I'm ahead and shield, so I'm going to go ahead and shield here. He does bait me this time, but I'm going to go for a shadow ball just to guarantee either I KO him or I burn his second shield, which is what I want to happen. He burns his second shield. So right now I should be pretty much a guaranteed win. But then I make some very dumb mistakes, <laughs> and you're going to see what happens. So here I should have just swapped out. Uh, there was really no point in me staying in, but I guess I wanted to just do some more damage. Um, I should have just swapped out to a better Pokemon to start storing up energy, but it's okay. It wasn't a huge deal. Here's where I make some mistakes. I go with Steelix. He goes with Steelix. Okay, not bad. I have a shield. He doesn't. I'm going to hit it with Earthquake. What I should have done was I should have swapped out and saved my Steelix just in case he had something that I was weak to. But I stay in and I decide not to shield because I'm saving it for Polyrath. This ended up being a very dumb move. I should have just swapped into Polyrath right away. But yeah, so I, I learned from this and I go for a crunch here. He's out of shields, so 
He actually doesn't even kill him. And then I burn a shield. Oh, this is so dumb. I burn a shield here, not knowing what he has in the back, which was very dumb of me. I should have saved the shield, and now he has a Metacham. And Metacham can get to a Psychic before you can get to a Hydro Pump. It's just a little bit quicker. And so I'm not able to get to a Hydro Pump, which probably would have knocked it out. And I have no health left, so I lose. <laughs> so very, very poor play at my point. I had a huge advantage in the beginning. And I just played really bad. I got too cocky and it backfired. So please just always remember, if even if you're sitting pretty, just act as if anything can happen and just try to play your best, okay? Just focus, focus, and so you don't make dumb mistakes like that. All right, so let's go into the next best of three. I actually do another best of three with him. And so my first lineup is Gardevoir, Steelix, and Polyrath. Now this three match, uh, three battle match that we do uh, I do lose the first and the last match, so there's a lot you can learn from these matches if you want to watch them over again. Uh, again, Ace Trainer, he's really, really good. Um, I was playing, I was trying to play well, but I just didn't, you know, made some mistakes, but here we go. Had Gardevoir, swap it out, Polyrath's in. Here's my first mistake, I switch lock my Polyrath, and so now I'm kind of an uphill battle. Now since I had an energy advantage, I should have gone for Hydro Pump here. That would have done more damage, it would have done like around 61 damage versus 43 according to the PV poke sims but I go for two dynamic punches still does quite a bit of damage so I'm actually quite impressed at how well I was able to whittle down that slow bro but yeah I wasn't able to to knock it out so I have Steelix in here now I shield uh, the water pulse which was a good shield and then I get him I get rid of him and then I got energy so here I go for the I just try to go for the knockout uh, probably should have went for the crunch because I knew he was going to shield here. It, he had two shields, so it really wouldn't have hurt him to, to shield that one waste shield. Um, so I should have gone for a crunch. It really wasn't a waste for shield on his part. But anyways, yeah, I should have went crunch there. But I did land a, an earthquake against his Steelix, so that was actually pretty nice. But so it was, you know, it was kind of close. But then I had Gardevoir, and the only way I could have... I was at a shield disadvantage here, and so the only way I could have won was to bait his shield and get to a... And there's no way to get to a Shadow Ball here, so it's GG's at this point. Um, so yeah, we lose that game. It was kind of close, but you know, not really. I mean, yeah, I, I got in trouble switch locking that Polyrath, so that was really messed up there. So just take note of that. Okay, second match, we have Marowak, Metacham, and Polyrath. So again, trying to run the same type of strategy, burn his shields. Get a Polyrath in there to knock him out. So here we have a good lead, Marowak versus Metacham. So he switches, so he gives me switch advantage here. I learned from my mistake in the previous match. So I put in Polyrath right away as quick as I could. And so we should be pretty good here. Um, he does bait me here with the Bone Club. Um, and then he actually lands a Shadow Ball. So that was the worst scenario for me. Um, but thankfully, you know, Polyrath is pretty tanky. So I go for the Hydro Pump to see if I can knock him out. He knows better by now, so he shields, and then he decides to go for Bone Club, so I still got a little bit of energy left, and so I actually have enough energy to get to a Dynamic Punch, and we actually take out the Marowak. I was actually surprised that that happened. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose that one. So that that's good. So we have Marowak back in with Shadow Ball, and yeah. He decides to swap out again. So now I'm against Steelix, but it's still not the horrible matchup because I have energy. I go for a Shadow Ball to take some damage. And then Fire Spin is still doing super effective damage. So um, here I just, I'm out of shields, I believe. No, I still got one left. But I was thinking it was going to be a crunch. So I did, did not shield there. I go for the Bone Club and then he, I think I take him out there. So now he goes with the Ice Punch, knocks me out. I still have a shield advantage. And then I forgot here that I threw, you saw I just threw a Polyrath right into the garbage. I forgot that I swapped it out to save it for a shield. I totally forgot, and I just threw it back in, and it was that was quite hilarious. So, got the Medicham back in there, we get Psychic off, we have an HP advantage, and so we just were, we were in too good of a shape for him to catch up. So, we do take that match, which was awesome. Final match, we have Steelix, Medicham, and Polyrath. He, had, he brought almost the same exact team, except he had his Marowak versus my Steelix. So because Steelix loses to the Fire Spin Marowak head-to-head, -head, uh, I'm already in an uphill battle, and then also going against a really, really skilled player. So 
he's, he's playing well at this point, it's really, really hard for me to win. Um, I do land a... So he switches out and I land that Earthquake against the Polyrath versus the Marowak, but that's still fine because I would have used Earthquake anyways. But then he gets me with a Hydro Pump. I wasn't... I didn't see that coming. So yet again, Hydro Pump on Polyrath just does work, and he hit me with it that time. And so I'm really not in good shape here. I get him to use a shield here with, with Psychic. Uh, would have been nice if I baited him there, but... So here, I have my Polyrath. I definitely need to shield here. And that was a good shield, because he used Psychic. And then I go for the Dynamic Punch to kind of... As like a shield bait. It's a lower energy move. I want to get the shield off. So that works out. And then, I don't think I can get to another a Hydro Pump in time. So I go for a Dynamic Punch again. Maybe I could have got to a Hydro Pump, especially because I had a shield, but... Yeah, maybe should have done that, but then I would have had no shields, and so I don't know how that would have affected the match. I really don't know if I would have won. Maybe if a couple things went my way, I didn't fall for a bait here and there, I could have won this match, but it was it was just too close. So I do knock I do knock out the Marowak with the Polyrath. So again, Hydro Pump doing its job, but we just don't have enough health, and we just barely lose that one. So um, in the interest of time, I'm gonna go straight into the next opponent. Last match is against another friend, and you notice I don't have Polyrath here, but I want to show you what do you do if you're on the other end. So they have Polyrath, and you don't, and you're trying to beat it. What can you do? And you're going to see the answer to that, just one example of that in this particular battle. So we have Drift Blim. I'm throwing off a Ominous Wind. Um, I like. I don't mind an Omin uh, Drift Blim again. I think I mentioned this. I filmed this in two bits. Sorry. So this is a long video. Um, I do not mind this matchup just because of how many ominous wins you can get off if you get lucky with a buff it you know throws the match in your favor so i don't mind i'm not gonna, i'm usually going to keep that in i'm not going to swap out so i bring in metacham here just because counter does neutral damage and i can whittle it down pretty quickly uh so i'm not too intimidated by the the ma wild here so now i have i'm in a good matchup here but here's what here's to answer that question what can we do here um well if we're at one shield, one shield, you can try to bait the shield. So throw a power up punch, get the baited shield, and then go in psychic, and then you can knock it out, just like this. So that's what you would probably want to try to do if you're in that scenario. It might be harder if you have two shields, a two shield, or zero to zero, because I don't know, it just changes the dynamic, I think. I'm just a particular example. One shield versus one shield. Um, it's, I think it's easier to bait in that scenario because they're more trying to protect the shield. They don't know what's going to happen. It's just a more delicate scenario as opposed to two shields. They can just be like, oh, I'll just shield everything. So in that scenario, I like to do the bait and it worked. And there you go. So that was a long video, but I hope you guys learned a lot about Polyrath. And, you know, if you are going against opponents you haven't practiced with, you know, I like to practice with people I'm not going to play in the tournament so they don't know what moves I have. And it worked out. And you're going to see that in the next video where you see me sweep the Sinister Cup in my local tournament. And so if you want to see that, please hit the subscribe button just to be reminded. And if you want to hit the bell, you can to be reminded. Or just check your subscription feed and you will see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video.